Here we've got an, the brand new All Singing All Dancing 798E uh, Steger electric ride on. There's some interesting new features on this product and we just want to talk you through some of the key things you'll need to know before you use it. First of all, this is the key. Looks quite different to any of the other ride-on keys in the range. And you don't actually turn it. You place it into the keyhole slot here. You hear a beep and the control panel wakes up. And on here you've got lots of information. Um, you've got a little power switch here. You need to press that before you make any operation. And this gives you the ability to open and close the grass box, start the cutting blades, adjust the heights of cut, turn the lights on and off, and there's a button here to allow you to go backwards as well. You have to press uh, in conjunction with pressing on the uh, drive pedal. So first of all, let's look at the transmission. On this tractor, once you put the key in, you've pressed the power on button. This is your transmission pedal. And just like hydrostatic models, as you press forward, the tractor moves forward and the harder you press, the faster you go. If you press on the rear of the pedal, it will go backwards. So it's very, very simple to operate the transmission. Very, very smooth. To start the cutting blades on this model, you press this button here. if you're trying to cut with the blades engaged unless you're holding the bottom right button here the blades will cut out I'll show you what I mean start the blades you can drive forwards if you try to go backwards you'll hear a beep and everything cuts out that's because in order to cut in the reverse direction you have to press this deliberate switch so we'll switch it on blades have started, press and hold this button, and then when you press the gas, let go, back. Adjusting the height of cut on this model is done using the left hand up and down arrow. So as you press down, you'll notice the cutter deck starts to move down. And there is a indication on the dashboard here. If I show it going back up again, you'll see these little green notches increasing. That shows you the height of the deck rising. And now to empty the grass box on this model, you'll see that it's locked solid. You can't actually manually tip this model. It's because it's got an electric operated actuator to open and close it. And that's done using this right hand up and down arrow. If I press and hold the, uh, the top right hand button, the grass box will open. And the same in reverse, press and hold the close button. There's a small delay and then it closes. That means there's a special procedure for removing the grass box manually if you want to fit the mulch kit, which I'll show you in a moment. To remove or refit the grass box on this model, you'll need to follow a special procedure in order to unlock the actuator and remove the grass box. With everything powered up and switched on, if you press and hold the open direction for the grass box for two seconds, it puts it in the correct position. One, two. So in this position here, I can now get off the tractor, tilt the rear very slightly whilst lifting from the front, and the box is removed. To fit it back on, line up these square sections on the grass box with the square sections on the back of the tractor and hold it at a, about a 30 degree angle. It takes a little bit of practice sometimes. And that's how it should be. You'll know if it's worked when you get back on the tractor, press the power button so it beeps and then press close. And if it locks into place, you know you're good. A common mistake that people make with this tractor, with all the safety switches that it has on it, 
is they try to operate these controls while nice not sat on the seat. They're stood to the side of the tractor and they're trying to open and close the grass box. It just will not work. So you must be sat on the seat to do any of these procedures. These tractors have an electronic transmission. So if you were trying to push it, you'll find it's, it's lock solid. To take it out of this mode and allow you to be able to push it around the garage or off, on and off a trailer, there's a little valve on the back of the tractor behind the rear left wheel. It's a little red lever. If you push this lever down, it's very hard to see, in the down position, it's sprung loaded, you can then push the tractor with you know, relative ease to put it back into drive mode you just push the lever up and then that locks the transmission again if you try to drive the tractor whilst it's in push mode you'll get an error code come up on the dashboard saying error 29 so you'll know that it's in the wrong mode